Yep, I guess we all have been there and done that. In fact, this is one of the most common mistakes for the beginners when they are starting with uh, DTG printing, not removing the white uh, background of your design. In this video, we explain why you need to remove the background and uh, what happens when you don't do that. And make sure to stick until the end of this video where we share four tips that can help you create t-shirt designs that look fantastic after they are printing on the t-shirt. And uh, please note that this topic is uh, very close tied to the white underbase in direct to garment printing, which we are going to talk about in the next week's video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hi, I'm Everson from DTG Merch, where we cover all aspects of t-shirt business, from design to print on demand and uh, DTG printing, which is the printing method of choice for most of the POD platforms like Merch by Amazon, Redbubble or Spreadshirt. Today, we are going to talk about why you need transparent background. And this is extremely important for direct-to-garment printing in order to you get the best possible prints. So, why you need to remove the background of your design? Well, with uh, DTG printing, what you see is what you get. So that means that uh, every pixel that contains any sort of uh, color information will be printed on. And DTG printing has something very special. The white ink. The white ink is used as an underbase that makes possible to print on colored, dark or black t-shirts. The effect on the design is that every single part that, that has white color on your design will be printed on the t-shirt. So when you print on a white t-shirt, for example, the design will use only CMYK inks. No white ink is used. This means the white parts of the image are automatically ignored. The problem starts when you want to print on dark or colored t-shirts. So let's have a look what's going on. Here we have a design with a white background. So let's go ahead and print this design on a white t-shirt. Remember, white ink is not used on white garments. And it looks good. The white background is not visible on a white t-shirt. The white t-shirts most of the time are printing with uh, colors, the CMYK inks, and the white parts are automatically removed. Now, let's print the same design on a colored and black t-shirt. Remember, what you see is what you get. So, all parts of the designs are printed with the available ink, even the white ink. Therefore, the white square of the background is also printed on your t-shirt. And it costs you a lot of money. The white ink is expensive, the t-shirt is ruined, and you have to do all the work again. Next, let's print the same design, but this time with a transparent background. When we print on a white t-shirt, it looks good again. The result is exactly the same as with white background since the white is ignored because this is a white t-shirt. Now, if we print on a colored and a black t-shirt, the background is now transparent and therefore the print looks good and awesome. Now, let's move on to our four tips for you to get the best possible designs. Tip number one, choose the right file format. Well, actually, as long as you print on white garments only, Literally, any file format your printer or RIP software can handle is OK. However, when you want to remove the, the background, you need a file format that can handle transparencies or a vector format. For example, PNG, PSD, Adobe Illustrator, EPS, TIFF, and etc. 
Another important hint, please note that uh, JPEG does not allow for transparencies. So if you have a design with a transparent background and you save it as JPEG, all the empty parts are filled with white automatically. And make sure that the size and the resolution are suitable for the design you are going to print on. Tip number two, always design for the media you are printing on. And especially keep in mind the color of your t-shirt. And tip number three, can be quite complex to remove the white background from some designs. Especially designs with lots of uh, hair or small details like fine thin lines. So try to set it up correctly from the beginning to avoid problems or extra work later on. And tip number four, if you need a design to be printed on a dark t-shirt or on a colored t-shirt, it may be well better to build the design from scratch or look for stock images that already have a transparent background. So that's the end of uh, this video. Thanks for watching. And if you like more content like this, maybe it's a good idea for you to have a look in the other videos that are being shown on the screen. I wish you all the best, take care, be good and see you in the next video.